Hey everyone, Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to use Jinja line statements. So this video will be pretty short because Jinja line statements are pretty simple. But basically, it's a way to replace a certain syntax in Jinja with a different one that's uh, more concise. So before I show you how to do that, I just want to show you my Flask cheat sheet that I made. Um, it has a bunch of useful information that you could use in your app if you uh, aren't too experienced with Flask. It has a small section on templates, but most of the stuff deals with other parts of Flask. So if you want to download it, just go to prettyprinted.com slash Flask cheat sheet, all one word. And I'll have a link to this in the description below. So as for line statements, uh, I already have an app set up. It returns a template, so index.html, and it has um, a header. So let me add a list. And I'll just say nums because this list isn't going to do anything special. So I'll pass nums to my template. And in the template, I'll use typical ginger syntax. So uh, bracket percent. And I'll say for uh, num in nums, all I want to do is add an element. So how about h3s here is a line so nothing special so in four and now if I run this app and it's taking a moment to start there we go if I run this app go to the index I forgot to import render template. So if I do that again and run it, I see five lines. Now, if I want to use ginger line statements, uh, here's some documentation from the Flask site, um, Flask snippets. Uh, basically, you set um, a setting in your configuration, and then you can change the line statement. So let me just copy this and put it right underneath my app. And instead of the percent, I'll use, let's say, a hash. So when I change the line statement prefix to that, I no longer have to use this um, bracket percent syntax. I can just get away with doing this. Hash. Hash. And the reason why this works is because only Jinja code is on that line. So I can't combine it with regular HTML. But in most cases, all your Jinja stuff is going to be on one line, at least the uh, expressions. So, and the expressions and the statements, I mean. So if you change the configuration to use a line statement, then it could save you a lot of typing. So I'll save this and I'll um, refresh and I still get the same result. Now, if I change that line statement to percent, saved it, and then I run it, it doesn't work because it thinks it's regular HTML. And then if I go here to my configuration and change it to a percent, save it, run it, it works again. So that's all I want to show you. That's um, a really easy way to make your Jinja code a little more concise. Um, so it's a personal preference if you want to use it or not. Um, and that's it for this video. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. And um, I guess I'll talk to you next time. I'll figure out which videos to make next. So thank you for watching and have a great day.